Hi friends, in my this lecture, I am going to discuss integral of some particular functions. There are six types of particular functions which I am going to discuss one by one in my this video. First of all, integral of 1 upon x square minus a square. How to find integral of 1 upon x square minus a square? Now friends, for this particular integral, I will multiply and divide with 2a. So 2a has been, since 2a is a constant, it can be multiplied as well as divided in an integral. So I have taken 1 upon 2a outside the integral sign and 2a in the numerator. Now, the same 2a can be represented as x plus a minus x minus a. Because if you open this bracket, you, the x will get cancelled and a plus a will become 2a. So 2a can always be written as x plus a minus x minus a. Now, the next step, what I am going to do is I will factorize the denominator and split the fraction. After factorizing the denominator and splitting the fraction, this is what I will get. So after two steps, I will be left with 1 upon x minus a minus 1 upon x plus a. Reason being that one term in every fraction will get cancelled. So this is what I get. And friends, we people have already discussed that integral of 1 upon x minus a is log of x minus a. At the same time, integral of 1 upon x plus a is log of x plus a. So this is what we we'll get. We we'll get the integral. And an important property of logarithm which you people have already done is log a minus log b can always be written as log a upon b. So ultimately, integral of function 1 upon x square minus a square dx is 1 upon 2a log x minus a upon x plus a plus a constant. So this is the formula. Similarly, if we have integral of 1 upon a square minus x square, it has to be proved exactly in a similar way and this is the result which you will get. So integral of 1 upon a square minus x square dx will be equal to 1 upon 2a log of a plus x upon a minus x plus a constant. So these are the first two particular integrals which I have discussed. The third one is 1 upon x square plus a square, integral of 1 upon x square plus a square dx. Now friends, in this particular case, what I will do is, I will divide numerator and denominator by a square. Numerator and denominator has been divided with a square and from numerator, I have taken 1 upon a outside the integral sign. Now, what is the benefit of doing this particular step is that I can use method of substitution to find the result of this integral. What I am going to do is, I will substitute x upon a equals to t. And friends, if x upon a is equal to t, differentiating both sides, we will get dx upon a equals to dt. And our integral will become i equals to 1 upon a, integral of 1 upon t square plus 1 dt. And this integral is nothing but direct formula of tan inverse t. So, in next step, I write that the integral is equal to 1 upon a tan inverse t plus a constant c is the constant of integration. And now, I will substitute the value of t back and I will get 1 upon a tan inverse x upon a plus c. So, friends, so this is the third particular integral and the result which we have obtained is integral of 1 upon x square plus a square is equal to 1 upon a tan inverse x upon a. Fourth one, fourth particular integral. Now, what is the difference between the first three and the last three which I am going to discuss? In first three, it was in the form of a constant upon a quadratic function. There was no square root sign in the denominator, but in next three particular integrals, the denominator will be a square root of a quadratic function. Let's discuss one by one. Integral of 1 upon root x square minus a square. So, Friends, in this case, I am going to use the substitution x is equal to c a secant t, which implies differentiating both sides, I get dx is equal to a secant t tan t dt. 
Before I proceed further, let me tell you friends, whenever we come across a situation root of a square minus x square, and we need, use to, we need to use the substitution method, x is generally sub substituted by a sin theta or a cos theta. And whenever it is the square root of a square plus x square, then x is substituted as a tan theta or a cot theta. And in such cases, wherever we have root of x square minus a square, x is generally substituted as a secant theta or a cosecant theta. In this particular case, I have substituted x is equal to a secant theta or t in this case t. dx is equal to differentiating and the derivative of secant t is secant t tan t. And after substituting these values to the given integral, this is what we get. We will get integral of a secant t tan t upon root a square secant square t minus a square. We can simplify the denominator. I can take a square common and when we come out of the square root sign, it will be left with only a. And a from numerator and denominator will get cancelled. And inside the square root sign, we will have secant square t minus 1 which is equal to tan square t. And outside the square root, when it will come, that tan square t will be left with only tan t. Let's see in the next steps. So this is what I have done. I have taken a square common in the square root and when it come out, it will be left with a only cancelling a from numerator and denominator. Then substitute in secant square t minus 1 as tan t. This is, and I'm left with a very simple integral, which is integral of secant t, and we know that integral of secant t is log of secant t plus tan t plus the constant of integration. And last step which is left is, we need to substitute the value of t, and we know that in beginning, we took as, uh, I need to substitute the value of secant t, but I have one more term, and that term is tan t. So, first of all, I will write this tan t in terms of secant, and we know that tan t is root of secant square t minus 1. Now, we can easily substitute the value of secant t, which is x upon a. So, in the next slide, instead of secant t, I will write x upon a. And this is what I get. Further simplifying this square root, taking a square as LCM, I will left with x square minus a square upon a square and when this a square will come outside the square root, it will be, become only 1 upon a. And that 1 upon a is common inside the bracket. And we have already done that log of a upon b is log a minus log b. And now this log a plus c dash is another constant which can be written as our next function is integral of 1 upon root x square minus a square exactly on same lines if we uh, right so ultimately the answer solution which we get is integral of 1 upon x square minus a square is log of x plus square root of x square minus 1 plus c this is the result which we got from the previous derivation exactly on similar lines there are two more results one is obtained exactly on the same lines we got tan inverse uh, 1 upon a tan inverse x upon a and the second one exactly uh, as fourth particular uh, function so we got two more results and these are integral of 1 upon root a square minus x square is equal to sine inverse x upon a plus a constant and integral of 1 upon root x square plus a square is equal to log of x plus root x square plus a square plus a constant. One more difference which you will find in these three integrals is on the right hand side we won't get 1 upon 2a or 1 upon a. This, this is another difference which you know we can keep it in mind for remembering all these formulas. Let us take up few examples. The first example, how to find the integral of 3 times x square upon x square plus 6 plus 4 dx. If I can substitute x cube is equal to t, then 3x square dx. Differentiating both sides, I get 3x square dx is equal to dt. And my integral will be left as numerator will become dt and denominator will become t square plus 4 and <clears throat> our integral will be integral of 1 upon t square plus 2 square 1 upon a tan inverse x upon a. So our result is 1 upon 2 tan inverse 
t upon 2 plus c and in the end we will substitute the value of t which is nothing but x cube. So answer is half tan inverse x cube upon 2 plus constant of integration. Let's come to the next problem and question is find the integral of x square upon square root of 8 plus x plus 1 6 dx. In this case also, if you observe numerator is x square and inside the square root we have the sixth power of x. And we know that derivative of x cube is 3 times x square. So again in this question, we can substitute x cube equals to t and we will get derivative of x cube is 3x square dx is equal to dt. But in numerator we do not have 3x square, we have only x square and that's why x square dx is equal to dt upon b. After substituting all these values in the given integral, we will get i equal to 1 upon 3 times. Now 8 can be written as 2 square root of 2 whole square because standard formula is 1 upon root a square plus x square dx. So we got 1 upon 3 integral of 1 upon square root of 2 root 2 square plus t square dt and this formula is nothing but again direct formula for particular integral and that is log of t plus square root of 2 times root 2 t square plus t square plus a constant and the end again we will substitute the value of t which is nothing but uh, x cube and this is the result.